My BFI player choice this week is a monochrome modern vampire picture from the driller killer himself, Abel Ferrara. Hailed as a horror masterpiece by Guardian critic Peter Bradshaw, it's a moody and strangely satirical affair that packs a whole lot of oddness into its slim 82 minute running time. The Addiction. Written by Ferrara's frequent collaborator Nicholas St. John, who was thought for some years to be a pseudonym for the director, The Addiction stars Lily Taylor as Kathleen Conklin, an NYU philosophy student who develops a taste for blood after being attacked by a mysterious woman. A descent into literary and existential turmoil promptly ensues, swinging from scenes of crazed debauchery to literary invocations of William Burroughs' Naked Lunch, all leading to the poetic conclusion that self-revelation is annihilation of self. As with all of Ferrara's work, it's the interplay between dark and light that lies at the heart of the addiction. That playfully angsty tension between the highbrow and the lowbrow, the divine and the depraved. Having made his mark with a scabrously intense serial killer flick which became a centrepiece of Britain's video nasties panic in the 80s, Ferrara earned acclaim and notoriety in equal measure with movies like Ms. 45, Bad Lieutenant and Dangerous Game, films with increasingly star-studded casts that rode that knife edge between art house and exploitation. No surprise that in 2014 he made a film about cinematic agent provocateur Pier Paolo Pasolini, who met a violent death shortly after completing one of the most controversial movies of all time, Salo. In the canon of Ferrara's films, the addiction sits alongside the funeral with which it makes an interesting companion piece. Two films about mortality, both wrestling with profoundly metaphysical issues, but cloaked in the guise of genre cinema. A relentlessly unruly talent, Ferrara remains one of cinema's most prolifically unpredictable filmmakers, but it's movies like The Addiction that keep audiences and critics hungry for more. Mm -hmm.